Hey guys, so I wanted to film my products of 2015 because, well, I filmed my products of 2014 and I thought it would be fun to update it. Now, let's get this straight. If you hear the jingling, that's awful. She's got her little Christmas bow on and it's got bells on it. Yeah. But all the products I have are not my favorite products because, well, 2015 was about a year of using the products I had and to be honest I bought a few things here and there that you guys saw videos about but most of the stuff I used was stuff I had so with that being said let's see what I have to show you major thing was using lotion all the time. That's the main reason I got into makeup is because girl has some red face. So this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is the current one I'm using. I will link my skincare video of the other one that I was using down below for most of the year. But it's okay. It dries faster than the other one. I don't know if it's my favorite or not. But I bought the Mega Size from Macy's. So we'll see. Then, here's the current foundation that I'm using. I bought it this year. This is the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation, the original in 805 Ivory. It is a perfect color match. Although, it's kind of smells. Like, it's not bad. It just has a scent to it. And I don't know if I like it. But, I'm definitely going to be using it up. So, with that being said, this is the foundation I'm using. One thing I did discover this year that I absolutely adore, Real Techniques Beauty Sponges. Oh my god, these are amazing. This works great with that foundation. Don't try to apply it with a brush. It looks horrible. But this, yeah. Now I swear this is clean. It looks like it isn't, but it's stained. Hear the wind in the background? Here's the powder I'm currently using. This was in last year's favorites. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus. This year I used up my Naked Skin Powder. I don't know. It was okay. It was as good as I thought it was. But this one I am currently using up. If you can see that here. It's a more of a full coverage powder. It's really good if you use it with tinted moisturizer. It gives you extra coverage. But I kind of want to use it up because I want to move on to something different. And I bought another powder I really want to try. So pan this. Hopefully sometime soon. Now here's the blush I used most of the year. Now I've recently set this aside because I'm kind of sick of it. I used it for like months and months. You can't even tell. I swear. My god. This is like a glitter bomb. It was one of the first products I ever bought. And don't get me wrong, it's a really good product, but it's really glittery. It's the Baked Matte Satin Blush from The Rock in Exposed. It's not matte. It's not even satin. It's glitter. What was I thinking? Oh, I bought this two years ago, but hey. So... Uh, this is going to be put on the back burner because I really want to use the new Tarte blush I bought and it's matte and I'm going to. Now, I have been using eyeliner. I always use eyeliner in my waterline. I always tight line. That's how I do eyeliner. I don't like winged eyeliner. It's not my thing. And with cerebral palsy, it's really not that easy to do. But lately, I've been reaching for black eyeliner. Black eyeliner has become a staple. This is my shortest eyeliner. It is the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero. I love Glide On Eye Pencils. I love eyeliner in general. I have like a whole bunch of colors. If you guys want to see a what color eyeliner video I have, comment down below and let me know. I also have the Urban Decay 
primer potion and this is in <laughs> anti-aging basically I got it because they were out of the original when I went to go buy this the original and anti-aging are basically the same color so that's why I bought this one I'm not using it right now I'm using a sample I have it's the same product but this one is the new packaging it has a doe foot and it's a squeezy tube yeah which is telling you a lot you're gonna see a lot of products when I finally film this empties video because my empties bag is getting full but not yet <laughs> And the second to the last thing I have to show you is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Semi-Sweet Palette. I bought this in March. I did not haul it for you. I did show you if it was worth it in a video. I'll link it down below. It's definitely worth it. It's like my favorite eye palette. I like reach for it all the time and you better believe it smells like chocolate. Can we say mm, yes? Yes, please. Sign me up for this. <laughs> Definitely worth the money. Now, I suggest you go swatch eyeshadow palettes because quality based on different brands is different. But I just really like the colors in this one over the first one. But I like this one so much, I might get the first one. Or maybe the chocolate bonbons. But that just recently came out, so who knows? And then this is an oldie, but a goodie from last year. Nope. This is not the same one, though, so don't worry. This is the Bare Mineral Stroke of Light Eye Brightener. Oh, my God. This is amazing if you love light coverage under your eyes. I'm not about caking the concealer on and like looking fake. Not a cake face type person. But I love this. It gives me just enough coverage. More like it gives you reflection, so it deflects instead of gives you coverage. With that being said, those are 10 makeup products that I absolutely loved or used, per se, in 2015. But my favorite thing of all, you see that black kitten right there? She's officially eight months old. <laughs> She's adorable. I love her. She's the best thing I ever did in 2015. So with that being said, Huffle and I are going to sign off for my favorite beauty products of 2015. But don't you worry, you'll see more videos from us with that being said. Bye! You see that? You see that sleeping kitten? So. Here are the products. I would love to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and well